Hey, good evening, good evening everybody. Me right back, No Meal Shaves here with another video, shaving video. Um, this is Friday night. I hope everybody had a fantastic week. My week was a little bit on the stress, stressful side, but hey, it is what it is, but uh, maybe we can get into that a little bit later. My last video, I had kind of asked, hey, what do you guys want to see me shave with? You know, I had mentioned that I would use my, my commissory, but I'm a little stressed tonight. I want something a, a lot more relaxing, something I don't have to have total concentration on. So I'm just going to go with my DE tonight. And as the last shave, I'm going to be using the same blade, same razor. So I went ahead and I did mark the third mark. Uh, can you guys see that? There we go. So there's one, two, three marks on there. So this is the third use of this Permasharp blade. And again, this is for the Keen Edge, not the Keen Shaver. <laughs> so, all right, just same, same, same routine as last time. The um, dots facing the cap. So, go with that. And the Rockwell again on plate three. Can you, yep, you guys can see that. So, um, yeah, the Suffolk Shaver was the, uh, unless something changed in the last hour or so, Suffolk Shaver, Shaver was the only one that actually requested something that I used. He, he requested um, What the Puck and also Cool Splash, but I don't have the Cool Splash. I only have the Cool Reserve um, uh, 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 soap sample. So I have, I don't have any Barrister Man uh, after shaves with me right now so it is what it is I, I i only have their samples their soap samples so so i'll be i think i just spoiled it but i'll be using what the fuck tonight this is a great soap i think this is the first time i've used it on video and i do like this scent um yeah so i've got it blooming down over here rest of the stuff i'm gonna be using my aqua velva sensitive 501 and you know i'm i'm, I'm burning through this uh Panada Club, man, it's a nice scent. It, it's good, I, I do like it. I'm using my Sewing Badger brush again. Gonna load it like I hate it. And I've got the um, Witch Hazel here. Um, something that I did, I forgot to mention, I forgot that I had this with me, but I do have another shaving cream. I have the Godred, God, Godredge? I, I hope I'm saying that right. Blue, I like this cream. It's, it's lightly mentholated. But man, this is slicker than snot. Oh, man, it's a fantastic, it's a great, great cream. If you guys want to, I'll use it in my next shave. I wouldn't, I, would, I wouldn't hesitate, I would not hesitate to use this with my commissary. So up to you guys. If you guys want to see it, chime down below. Okay, let me get back to the shave. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add the bloom water and we will go into the shave. All right, oh yeah, man, this is it. I don't know if, if, if any of you have used this before. If not, ah, oh, it's a fantastic scent. I love it. It really makes me wish Floyd Blue was still around. I'd buy that up like, 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 you, like it was going out of style. Clean my hand off because it's a uh, pretty slimy. So as I mentioned earlier, I hope you guys are having a lot better week than me. It has been very, very trying, and I will. Oh, sorry, this is the brush, and I, I don't know what it is about squeezing the water out of these badger brushes, but. They can really hold a lot of water. <laughs> All right, just going into the puck here. And like I said before, I'm gonna load it like I hate it. I, I do like this. Um, I think this is the first time that I've used a badger brush with this soap. The first time that I used it, I used a bore. Just because I figured, you know, it's a triple mill soap. You need a pretty a hardcore brush to uh, pick up the soap. 
but it is really good. Now, the last shave that I did was the 31st, and that, that was Wednesday. That was Wednesday. And um, since then, the, do I, do I see the owner, proprietor, whatever of uh, Vanulay Soaps, uh, Monica, she actually contacted me and asked me about my reaction that I had to Pyros. Um, through a few messages back and forth, she actually said she would tweak the formula a little bit and then send me a sample. Who does that? That is freaking amazing. I I've got lots of respect for her. So Monica, if you end up seeing this, thank you. I, I, I appreciate what you're doing for the community. Uh, it it's amazing. That's, you know, artisans, I, I don't know, I mean, they, they really do go above and beyond what's necessary, you know? I mean, you can't make a product that's good for everybody, it's impossible, but here she is trying, and I'm, I'm floored. I was floored when she sent me that message, so Monica, thank you, I, I, I appreciate it. So we'll, we'll see We'll see what happens. Um, I, I Like I had mentioned, I do dig that scent. I like that 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 pure, uh, what was it? How about Kibian? Cabana Puros? That was a fantastic scent. I loved it. I loved it. But I, it just didn't love me. So we'll see what happens, all right? And um, when it, if, if she does end up sending me the sample, I'll let you guys know and I'll, I'll film it, okay? I'll let you guys know. All right, I think I have enough. This is pretty well caked. I gotta wipe off all the suds here. Yeah, nice. Yeah, you know, and all of the, um, I've had nothing but, but good luck with artisans, you know, so it, it really makes me not want to use the big companies, you know, like, I've, I've had some bad luck with Tobbs, man, I'm telling you. So I, I, I even the sensitive jacked up my skin, it, I, it did not like me at all. <laughs> but you know, Tobbs, I would consider, I wouldn't consider it as a artisan. I could be wrong, I could be really wrong. But, oh well. You know, Parasso's not an artisan, but I do like Parasso. Well, Parasso red anyways. I tried the green, I did not like it. But I'm a sandalwood freak. No, I did not like the um, Tob sandalwood. It smelled nothing like sandalwood to me. So, oh well. Man, I sort of had some, a little bit extra, kind of some extra time to watch a couple of videos today. Watch Spencer's latest, Ribs' latest. Started watching Manny's SoCal Shave. Um, Chris Madden. Oh, Chris Madden. I feel for you, dude. He had the reaction to the aftershave splash. Oh, man. He commented on my comment saying, even his hands hurt. Oh, man. That's, that's horrible. That's shocking, actually. I have a couple of um, Crown King splashes and knock on wood, no issue with them, none. They're soaps too, no issues. It's, it's been, you know, when you, especially when you, when, you, when you get a scent that you really, really like and you find out you're having a reaction to it, Oh man, it's it's disappointing. I know there's a lot of choices out there and stuff, but man. You know, like for me, my biggest disappointment so far was with um, Katie's Bubbles LPV. I had a reaction to that one and I, and I just really enjoyed that scent it was amazing my second oops too much water my second um 
most disappointing reaction was with Sterling Sandalwood. Sucked. You guys know how much I really, really like Sterling and Sandalwood. I was bummed. Really, really bummed. But it is what it is. And that's why I'm a believer of samples. You can see if that scent and soap base is going to kill you. All right, I think we're good. I love the scent of this soap. I want the splash. Continue painting on. It's really enjoying it. Got a nice little load there going. Let me, um, oh, look at all this that I lost. Shit. This is the third shave, perma sharp, same side. So I won't flip it. Maybe the fifth shave I'll flip it. I, I'm pretty sure I can get a good 10, 10 shades out of this. First pass with the grain. And that um, razor that Chris Madden was using, the rock, the mule, oh shit, what's it, Ruckle? Pretty nice looking razor. He said he had to, um, change the angle and I think what he was doing they call it riding the cap and I know a lot of people who tend to go after um, blade longevity they do that They ride the cap, so where the, some guys, they, they describe it as being kind of extreme where, you know, riding the cap is like this and they, they tend to have to push it in a little bit, but we all know that pressure and DE just does not quite mix. So it's a little, uh, something you have to work out for yourself. I'm wondering if I should go to level f or plate four next time. I always bring two plates with me. I always bring the uh, one and three and the two and four. And then I bring quite a few blades with me. I always bring blades that I've never tried before so I can test them out. Like this trip, I brought, um, Lotus, which um, Ken Lee swears by, he loves those things. And also the um, Persona Reds, both were actually supplied by, by Ken Lee. Nice. And this was good. If they can... 
I wonder if Razor Rock could do um, the stallion in this formula. Oh man, because I like this formula. I wonder what their plans are with the um, triple mill soaps because these are good. These are really, really good. Speaking of triple mill, I don't know if you guys follow Sterling on Facebook, but they had mentioned that they are currently working on triple milled bath soaps. Um, their the latest update was they are working on the best way to make the soaps that are affordable to us, you know, because to get the material to, to actually make the molds, like all the molds and stuff like that, they've got to spend a shit ton of money. So they're kind of comp contemplating on seeing if a vendor can do it for them. Or I guess you can call it a third party. Sorry, cross screen. Second pass. Yeah, so due to some unpredictable circumstances at work, I'm going to end up having to work this weekend. And it's looking like both days, which kind of sucks because this is my last weekend in Singapore and I was really hoping to um, check out some places that I've never been to. Sorry, Abe, but I have still haven't had any of the black pepper crab or chili crab. Yes, I know what I'm missing. But I think, did I mention this before? I think I'd rather go out for some fish head curry. If you've never had fish head curry, oh man. And you're okay with fish and you like curry? Pfft, it's a fantastic combination. So one thing about Singapore, they have a huge Indian population and their food is good. Stuff a little bit. These perma sharps are freaking sharp. I kind of forget how sharp they are. You know, I've been using a bunch of different other blades recently and haven't really consistently used a blade for a while. It's nice, it's really nice. That's fantastic. Really, really good. <clears throat> now the question is, do I want to get the Razor Rock matching splash or should I go with the Barrister Man splash? I mean, I've already got the soap, so maybe I should try getting the splash from Barrister Man. Because I have what the puck soap. I don't need two sets for the same, right? Maybe I do. Okay. All right, so this is like my third pass, which is basically more or less a cleanup pass and kind of against the grain. I always go two with the grain on my neck, which goes up right here. And then I go one against the grain, right? Because I'm not coordinated enough to go across the grain right there, so.
<laughs> I finally watched Spencer's video on that. Was it Credence Soap from the, the, was it the Grooming Lounge? Oh, that poor guy, he really hated that scent. <laughs> But that soap looks like it performed fantastic. Hmm. So, on my last video, guys, I had um, added some music to my intro. Did you guys recognize it? Hey, you would think I got the idea from you. Hopefully, you two doesn't flag me. <laughs> None of that says something. Those bastards probably will. Good shave. Yeah, I felt that one right there. You know, it's pretty amazing. When I first started DE shading, I couldn't go against the grain. You know, it was really strange. But now, for the most part, I can't mix it. Right here, it does make it kind of tough. Like, it's still not clean. So, I'm not going to push it because it's just... It irritates me. I get some bad irritation sometimes if I push it right here. My sensitive areas. But yeah, I mean, it's a good shave. I, I do like this soap. It's good. I, I mentioned it before, but this is a soap that my daughter got me. And it's a great soap. I'm asking for trouble right now. <laughs> I saw Rib's video, was it today? Yeah, I think it was today. And he was talking about um, Dirty Harry. Like, Clint Eastwood has a, a lot of great movies, but I always liked his westerns. But I, I must say, my favorite modern movie of his definitely was Gran Torino. Oh my gosh, that was a great movie. Oh man, I love that movie. So, my neck feels a little bit irritated, so I'm going to do something that I don't normally do. I'm going to bust out the album block. Yeah, you can see how it's, it's, it's running pretty thin. Yeah, a little bit right here. Usually when I get a couple of necks, I'll bust out the album block and stop it up. It works really well. I got a, at home for this, I have one of the... Um, Omega Allen blocks, which is like a, a stick form, works pretty good. Yeah, oh, what the hell, man? Shoot. Oh well. No irritation from the soap. Always a plus. Alright, let me rinse this off and I'm gonna dry it and then put the uh, witch hazel on.
<laughs> the beauty about staying in a hotel is I don't have to worry about getting blood on my white sheets like or my white towels like Rib does. <laughs> Where's my witch hazel? <laughs> oh man. So in case you guys don't know if you're a new viewer or whatever, um, my witch hazel is Humphreys and this is the organic with, it's got a little bit of alcohol in it and then I add some menthol crystals to it just because I'm a menthol fiend. I'm what they call a meth, menth head or a whatever, you right? Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I got myself pretty good right there. I must have had a blemish. Shoot. Well, I'll take care of those off camera. Putting on a clubman. This is probably going to burn like a some bitch. All right, let's see here. Well, actually, no. A little bit. Man, yeah, I got myself good. Yeah, I think I whacked off a blemish. No, oh, well. All right. One of my favorite freaking aftershave balms. That's not a sterling. The Sensitive 501, it's a, it's a great freaking balm. Especially for the price. You know what? I just put it all over. I don't care. Don't let it go to waste. If it's good for the part that I just shaved, it's good for the rest. Really good scent too. Not too strong. Not too mild. Good scent. Nice. Great shave, great shave. You know, I got a, I got a nick right there. I'm gonna have to take care of it off camera. I don't want to bore you guys. You've all had nicks. You guys know what to do with them, right? So we'll go from there. Now, quick little recap. This this what the puck soap is actually really good. Um, when I was at Pastors, I actually had a, a chance to smell the orange one and. It smelled good, but I think I would prefer the lime more. But of the ones that I smelled, this is by far the best for me. It's it's a scent that I, I just really, really enjoy. It's their barbershop, you know. It's based off of Floyd Blue, which is seems to be like, from what I've read, like the king of barbershops. I don't know. Um, my Sterling Badger. This is the uh, two-band finest fan knot with the butterscotch handle. Besides my wolf whiskers, right now, this is my favorite brush. Um... JR, I haven't tried your brush out yet, bro. Um, that's probably the first thing I'm gonna try when I get back home. I can't wait to use it. Um, what else did I use? Pinot Clubman and my Sensitive 501. This was a great shave, everybody. Um, I appreciate it. So, right, it'll with the whistle a little bit. Next aside, um, you know, it was a really good shave. I, I'm gonna have to take well, I know more than I thought I did. You know, that's one thing I, di I didn't mention earlier is after my last shave, I actually had some bumps the next day on my neck. And actually, some of the spots that are bleeding, I actually had some bumps right there. So I don't know if it was part of the soap or just shitty technique. We'll see what happens, all right? We'll see what I look like tomorrow on the, on the next shave. Um, so if I'm, I'm a bit more relaxed next time, not so stressed out, I'll try, try to go to Kamasori, okay, everybody? And as always, what do you guys want to see in my shave? A uh, quick little recap of what I have. Wolfpack, Sterling Glacial, the Tiki Bar. Man, it's great soap. I got this What the Puck. I have the uh, Nivea Maca Root. I've got the Godred Blue. And then for, I have all five Barrister and Man Reserve soap samples, okay? You guys choose. If not, I'll probably just jumble everything up and pick one. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for sticking with me, everybody. 
30 minutes in i know it's a little bit longer for a be shave but you know what I, I i enjoyed it it was a great shave and i'm gonna have a lot of blood on my face later oh, shit this sucks oh well okay everybody this is friday i hope you have a fantastic weekend i hope your your week was great I hope you're all having some great freaking shaves. And to all my subscribers, again, thank you very much. I'm climbing the ladder, and I appreciate it. Um, even if you guys weren't subscribing, I'd probably still do these. This is a fun. I'm having a great old time. So thank you again. Um, until next time, everybody, as always, don't text and drive. <laughs> you guys have a great weekend. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>